Hey guys, how's it going? I'm sure a lot of you obviously have heard of the law of gravity. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of the law of attraction. There's also four laws of creation that I think a lot of people don't know. So I'll quickly go through those laws here with you in this video and maybe you can take something away from it and it'll help expand your awareness in a certain area of life, maybe change the way you think about life in some way. So the first law is that you exist. You exist. Can't change that. You exist and in some form you always will. You'll always exist. You are infinite in nature. We are infinite in nature. I am infinite in nature. So first law, you exist. The second law is what you put out is what you get back. What you put out is what you get back. What you put in is what you get out. So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. That's that's where the um, law of attraction really bases its 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 uh, ideas on. So uh, you know, whatever you're thinking about comes about. Where energy flow or where attention goes, energy flows. What you put in is what you get out. That's the law number two. Law number three is that we are all one. We are all connected. And that's why the the second law uh, <laughs> works so uh, clearly. Because we're all one, we're all connected. It's like everyone on this planet is part of the same ocean. You take a drop out of the ocean, you've taken part of the ocean away. Everyone's a part of the same spider web. When you, when you flick the spider web on one, one end of the spider web, the whole spider web vibrates, it all shakes. So we're all one, we're all connected. You cannot do something to someone without it affecting someone else on the other side of the planet. Me making this video is changing the course of the entire human race. If I don't make this video, that's also going to change the course of this entire human race. But every single thing you do, whether you pick up a piece of garbage or throw a piece of garbage down, no one needs to see you, no one needs to know, but it's affecting everyone and everything. I'm sure you've had these experiences where you're like, oh my god, if, if I hadn't seen Julie last week getting on the bus, then I wouldn't have been gifted this iPhone today. Like just th these things connect and you don't know how they're connected for some reason. Um, you know, you. Because you saw Julie, you said hey to her, and because you said hey to her, you didn't cross the street and said you waited, and because you waited, you saw your other friend Bob, and Bob's like, hey Ted, I've just been looking for you, I want to give you a free iPhone or something. Like, things like that. They're obviously, everything is connected, but you don't see how it's connected. So, we are all one. We are all one, everything's connected. Law number four, the fourth law of creation, states that change is the only constant. Everything changes except for the first three laws. Everything changes in life, everything's constantly changing except for those first three laws. So you're always going to exist, what you put out is always going to come back, and we're always going to be one. The first three laws never change. And the fourth law, everything changes. Change is the only constant except for the first three laws. So the idea of inertia, what is inertia? Inertia is when something is at rest and doesn't change. That's that's a myth. There's no such thing as inertia. Things are always changing at the microscopic quantum level. So you're always you are always becoming something more. You're always in a state of becoming. Research the psychology of becoming. We're constantly becoming someone else. We're constantly becoming something new, hopefully improved. Um, so always we're always growing, 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 growing. And what we change into will be determined by what we focus on. So, if you are constantly focusing on doom and gloom, well, your life, your reality is really gonna uh, reflect that. What you put out is what you get back, what you put in is what you get out. So, if you're focusing on doom and gloom, and you're gonna have a doom and gloom life. If you're focusing on peace and prosperity and harmony and joy and high vibes, high frequency stuff, like fruits and vegetables, <laughs> things like that, then uh, you're gonna live a high vibe life. There's no reason even in an economic depression for some people not to make money. And even, even in the dirty 30s or um, when the Great Depression was happening, people were making heaps of money, man. People were making heaps of money. Most people were not making money because they were focusing on all the doom and gloom, but a lot of people saw it as an opportunity to make more money, so they, they went for it. Uh, so never let your circumstance dictate how you feel. I always know that you know, because things are always changing, you can change into whatever you want. You can change the, your reality into whatever you want to, to change into. Um, so yeah, just uh, keep, those, keep those four laws in mind and uh, have a great life. See, see, see what you can do with those laws and um, 
see how they affect your life and start becoming aware that wow like life is actually infinite and I exist and I always will exist in some form it's amazing it's amazing it's also amazing to know that what you put out is what you're gonna get back so if you write someone a hate comment what do you think you're gonna get back man you're gonna get more hate back or worse you're gonna get just plain neglect so put out good stuff you're gonna get good stuff back and what you put in, what you listen to, what you watch, what you what you uh, eat is, is what you're going to get out. So if you eat disease or diseased food, you're going to end up with disease. If you put in death, you're going to feel like death. If you put in life, you're going to feel like alive. If you, feel, if you put in fresh, sweet, juicy food, you're going to feel fresh, sweet, and juicy. Um, it's just what you're going to get back out of it. So what you put in is what you get out. And then the, the third law, man, we are all one. How you treat one person is how you treat everyone. How you treat yourself is how you're gonna treat someone else. How you treat someone else is how you treat yourself. So just know if your parents ever got mad at you or, or got, got upset at you or if your teacher got upset at you when you were younger, just know that that's them. That's their shit. That's them casting the crap on you. So you are all good, man. You are all good. Just treat others with the way you would love to be treated yourself. Peace, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your comments down below. I really do read them all. And they make me want to make more videos like this, even though they may not be connected in the way. Like someone will ask me, Ted, what do you think of rice and potatoes? And I'll think of making this video because of that comment. So uh, just know that, you know, whatever comment you comment, it's making me want to make more videos. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for commenting below. And I hope that these four laws are either new things to you to, to, to research and to look into or they are just serving as a reminder of what you may already know. So, adios.